Hi, thank you for joining me. What I would like to do in this video is to share with you a variety of tips and tricks for horse camping. These are ideas that I have gathered from many horse campers over the years. Diane and I are members of the Michigan Trail Riders Association and have ridden our horses across Michigan many times over the past 21 years. Crossing the state takes 10 days, riding approximately 25 miles a day and horse camping along the way. To tie the horses in camp, we use a high line. It can be as simple as a rope or a strap with a ratchet. The campsites in Michigan usually contain poles to attach the high line to, or you can attach it between two trees. If you are using trees, be sure to look up to make sure that they are not dead. To attach the high line to the tree or pole, you should use a tree saver. It can be purchased or you can make your own. Some different types are a strap with a loop sewn into the ends, a strap with two different sized rings in the end so the smaller ring fits through the larger one. There are a variety of ways to attach the lead rope to the high line. The ring attachments must be easy to move to accommodate different situations. The double ring attachment, a ring with a carabiner, a no knot picket line tie, and many other approaches. When attaching a lead rope to the ring, the lead rope needs to be as short as possible and yet allow them to lie down and eat off the ground. To help with this, we use cow collars on the horse's neck instead of the halter. If a horse gets a foot tangled in the lead rope, they can get rope burns or compression injuries. We put the lead rope through a foam swimming noodle to lower the possibility of injury. Hay for the horses is put into a slow feed hay bag which is hung from the high line. This frame makes loading a hay bag much easier. It is cut from two 10 foot sections of plastic pipe and eight furniture fittings. It is taken apart for storage. A plastic snow sled can be used to haul manure to a manure bunker or to be spread out in the woods. Sleds are lightweight and take up little room in the trailer. Water for the horses is a limited quantity. You don't want the horses tipping buckets over and wasting it. One way to prevent this is to attach the pail to the pole. Some campers attach the hay bag to the pole so they don't want the water there. The water bucket can be placed in a larger tub or a milk crate to make it more stable. Bulk water can be carried in the bed of the truck. You can use a 55 gallon plastic drum or a tank made for this. If you enjoyed this video or if it was of some value to you, hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. If you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell, you will be notified when my next video is released. It's all free. Thank you so much for watching.